Awalu fled for his life when Boko Haram attacked his home city of Maiduguri in northern Nigeria. He escaped to Kano and moved into this house a week ago. He shares it with 78 other people. One of them was injured as she escaped from Boko Haram. As presidential elections draw closer, Awalu wants to see the opposition win. By the grace of God Almighty, General Buhari will finish with Boko Haram and bring peace, and we will go back home. The opposition candidate, retired General Mohamedou Buhari, a northern Muslim, is known to have widespread support in the north. But President Goodluck Jonathan, a southern Christian, has been highly criticised in the Muslim-majority north, largely for his inability to halt the Boko Haram insurgency. Traders here in Kano, an economic hub with an estimated population of 10 million people, have been hit hard by the insecurity. I hope the election will be fine, but my business and my trade can't be good without security. The security is the priority. We hope the government will provide security, and this is really what I expect from the election. The polls had been due to go ahead on February the 14th, but were delayed by six weeks over security concerns. The military said it couldn't guarantee voters' safety across Nigeria because it is too busy fighting Boko Haram in the north. The Islamists have attacked Kano repeatedly, but people here say that despite the danger, they will vote. We believe that, of course, uh, there's that uh, fear, there's that uh, threat of violence. Everybody knows it, not only in Kano, but almost everywhere in the north. But I believe people are going to come out, even if they see the violence, but they'll come out in order to get the change, because people are really in need of that change. The six-year insurgency has killed at least 13,000 people, with more than a million left homeless. And the response to Boko Haram attacks has been a major military operation, involving troops from Niger and Chad on the ground in Nigeria. The race for president is predicted to be one of Nigeria's closest yet. But for people in Kano, these elections remain crucial to their future.